Hello and welcome to another The Church at Hirith online service. I hope you're enjoying them and if you would like us to pray for you, in confidence of course, then there are details on how to get in touch on my website. Our services are fairly short, it's introducing people to spirituality and for those who've already made that transition, perhaps to encourage as well. I hope you enjoy this week's online service. assurance Jesus is mine and if you don't have that assurance in your life I'd like to just say a, a prayer for you now Lord Jesus we do just pray that that you would be real to anyone this week who has problems Lord and is going through troubled times and that that you would be able to bring them the assurance as they reach out to you Lord that that you are with them and going through things to help them Amen Lord. Our reading comes from Jeremiah just one verse chapter 29 and verse 11 and it tells us, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This song's called Faithful One, So Unchanging, and it just speaks about Jesus being our rock in times of trouble. So it's a song that, that's really appropriate for the moment. <laughs>
Rhythms are important, aren't they? We all make them. It's essential that we have some sort of direction in our lives. There are three areas that plans can come from though, and two of them we need to be careful of. The third one we need to embrace. First of all, we make our own plans. It sounds good, doesn't it, that we're in control of our own lives, and in some ways that's good. However, we all know that we've made decisions in the past, in our lives, perhaps in the present, as you listen to this, that haven't worked out. They haven't been the right choices. And therefore, the plans that we followed haven't worked out. They've led to disaster. They've led to unhappiness. They've led to negativity. So we do need to be very careful when we make our own plans in that context. Then, of course, there are the plans that other people make for us. And I guess we've all or most of us have been in that position as well at some point in our lives where someone else is trying to run our lives for us. They're the ones trying to tell us what we should or should not be doing. And that never works when you have a dominant person trying to run someone else's life invariably it never works out but then there's the third option and that's from the reading that we heard just now from Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 11 where God was speaking and he said for I know the plans I have for you plans to bless us to prosper us not to harm us or to bring wrong into our lives it's important that we do follow God's will for our lives. He has a plan for all of us. It might not be our plan. It might not be the plan of other people as they look at our lives and try to work them out. But it's God's plan. And ultimately, our plans may or may not succeed. Other people's plans for our lives very much don't work out but God's plan always works out follow the path that God has laid out for us let's pray shall we Lord we do thank you that you have a plan for our lives we thank you that you are the faithful one we thank you that we can have that blessed assurance when we commit our hearts and our lives to you Help us, Lord, over the next week. Help us to follow the path that you've prepared for us, the path of righteousness, the path of light. Lord, we pray that you would be with us. And if there are those listening to this now, I pray for you as well, that you would open your heart to the Lord, that even if you're on that peripheral, that God would shine his light into the darkness that we all have to some extent in our lives. Amen.